Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. As you guys can see, I don't have my bright smile on my face just because it's been some week. Uh, we can all say that this George Floyd situation has caught us all by surprise and it is a situation that we can't ignore and I'm actually, I'm just so thankful to see how everybody out there were able to come together in order to fight for cause um, of point blank racism. Racism is something that is a touchy subject. And if you are someone of culture, you have definitely gone through some type of racism. Um, I myself, as a black woman, have endured racism in many different ways. And uh, people are just fed up and we're all fed up and there's been stories that I've actually posted on my Instagram about the situation. And every time I think about it, it, it just melts my heart. The other thing is there's this one uh, video that I actually watched of this little girl. I don't know how old she is, but just to hear her say what she was saying in the video um, just touched me. It touched my heart and it brought me right back to when I was... A little girl you know living in Canada uh, some people say oh my gosh there's racism in Canada of course there is there's racism everywhere but if there's one thing that I would like to say as a black woman is that I I'm sorry it's just so hard to not get emotional about it because as a black woman racism is something that you can't ignore um, you go through it on a daily basis even um, whether it would be at school, in the workforce, pretty much anywhere. Um, and it's just so sad to see that we have to put color on everything. We cannot see past colorism. We can't see past being categorized. Um, and it actually doesn't make sense because I grew up as a church girl, always reading the Bible and with my family. And the one thing that I would like to say is that during all these times of growing up and reading the Bible and getting to know God and all that stuff, if you truly have God in your heart, putting a color or category on things doesn't even exist. So that's why for me, when I see people, um, categorize or put color on something and say something is ugly I get so upset just because there is no such thing love is love and it's unconditional the fact that we are putting limitations on on people is ridiculous there is something called the human race and that's just it we should just live as that and as soon as other people think it's okay to say he or she is the other, that creates a problem. A problem that is going to be hard to even ignore and then get rid of later on. So why do we put ourselves through that situation? I do want to make it clear that Black people do have it bad. And it's extremely sad and we just can't ignore it. But what makes me happy out of this entire situation is seeing how different races are pretty much putting their heads together and seeing what exactly is really happening. Everyone is fighting for what is right. That is something that gives me hope and it puts so much joy and happiness and I just feel like I'm getting tears of joy in my eyes right now and I, I'm getting so choked up emotional because that is the moment and that is the time that we were waiting for in order to move forward in order to make sure that we are not put in a position where we feel alone and honestly i'm so proud that everybody is there to support our cause and this and this situation because it is a situation that was wrongfully done and i would say to everybody to continue to put your heads together that when a situation like this happens again you guys support one another. It is so important because if only Blacks support Blacks, then the issue remains with us. But if other people join forces and say this is wrong, then our voices will be heard.
The truth is that when you are Black, the opportunities are not equal. Therefore, the path to where you are going is actually going to be limited. This actually reminds me of why I started social media in the first place. That sense of drive to want to empower other people and uh, be a positive mindset for others was exactly that. Um, I've gone through so many hardships at work that just, I just, again, I just threw my hands up in the air and said, I need to start my own business. I need to uh, make grounds and make way for my own self so that I do not put myself in situations where I am limited and I can expand and I can go further in life. That means to say that when you have limitations in front of you, you just need to create the path yourself. Um, I just want to say that if you feel limited um, as a Black person or um, as a cultural person, just make sure that you know that you are competent. You are a hard worker. You are creative. You are. You have so much power. And you have more power than you actually think. And you can go much further in life. You just need to release and remove yourself from any limitations that are causing that roadblock for you. And trust me, if you set yourself free, you'll be blown away by the things that you can actually create with your own hands. Honestly, this brings me so much joy when I think about what I've created and what I'm currently building. When I'm talking to someone about the things that I'm actually doing um, or when someone asks me advice, I just love it because I always tell them exactly how I feel. And I try new things in order to uh, continue to create and be innovative with what I do. So that brings us to the topic as to what I'm gonna be doing in this video. So a little bit of happiness going around. I actually decided to order from a new brand, trying something new, and it's called Miss Pap. So I did a big order from Miss Pap and I'm about to show you guys all the outfits that I picked up. I was immediately drawn by the styles. I came across Miss Pap by being on Instagram and I can't remember what happened. Oh yes, I remember. I was actually browsing on somebody's account that was actually wearing something that I was looking for. I was actually looking for these pants. I have something for lace, for sheer. And when I came across these pants and I saw the pearls on it, I was like, I need to know where this girl got it. Can't remember who it was on Instagram. I wish I did because I would have given her a shout out, but these pants were everything. And the picture looks so extravagant and the pearls are definitely worth it. So it is sheer. It comes with panties as well. I'm not too sure about the shape of the panties though. That's the only thing that I was kind of like, what is this? It kind of like remind me of like granny panties, if that makes sense. I kind of like wish that the pants had like no panties underneath and I could just put my own maybe bathing suit. That way, if I don't like the shape, I can always change it because I know that different bikini bottoms might go better with the pants. So that's the only downfall of the pants, but in terms of like the quality and how it's made, it's pretty good. I really like it and it's not uncomfortable and the seams, for a sheer pants, I found that they were pretty clean. So that is something that I appreciate. And I like the zipper in the back as well. It just makes it easier for you to just get in and get out. I don't know if you guys can actually see these little tiny metals that are behind the pearls. Those are the metals that were giving me a very weird sensation against my skin. So I just wanted to pinpoint that out that I don't know, I've never felt that before. And it was, it was strange. All right guys, here are the pants. I don't have an undershirt, so I can't really show you guys what it just looks like uh, without a top on. But I just wanted to show you the panties that come with the pants. That is a big faux pas for me. I do not like panties like this, but you know what? If you wear a blazer over it that's long enough, I think that that can counteract with the problem of the panties. It can kind of like hide it. And then the other thing I wanted to show you guys is the actual bottom of the pants is a straight leg, almost like leggings. Here it is. Quality is actually pretty good for a sheer pants, so I'm not mad about that. It was actually frustrating trying to pick out outfits that you wanted in a certain color and they were already gone. Like, 
poof before your eyes. I know that it's summer and summer colors are usually like blue, pink, lavender and things like that. But a lot of the dresses that I actually wanted to try did come in a different color. I love the style and I really wanted to try them, but I couldn't because they were already sold out. Like my size was completely gone. I came across this beautiful ruffled, I guess, bodycon type dress. It's pretty cute. The front of it actually has just a little bit of lacing for a little bit of cleavage. It's also on and off the shoulders and the material is almost like a slushy rain jacket type of material. I don't know if you guys can kind of like hear that. Let me try on the dress and show you guys what it looks like. So right off the bat, if you have a bigger chest, than myself. This is definitely the dress for you. I'm a 34C. This is a size small. And as you can see, it's not exactly fitting me quite well. Like if I were to move, like I can get fully undressed here. Let's just not do that. But it is pretty cute. Gotta give them that. Um, at least my body shape isn't disappearing completely in the dress, given the fact that it is maybe a size or two too big. Okay, let's go try on the next thing. I might have failed with my first dress attempt, but trust me, this little dress is definitely gonna be a winner. I mean, it is very smooth, silky, and the quality is a lot better than the other dress that I tried. And the fact that it's not beige, it's actually light blue. This is one of my favorite colors, so I cannot wait to try it on. I really like the back because the back is laced. You guys just can't see it with me holding it like that. It might look a little bit weird. So I am going to try it on for you guys to see what it looks like. This dress is super cute. Love the color, love the lacing in the back and the cowl neckline but then when I really look at the neckline in the front in the chest area it's supposed to like fall like like a drapery almost but this one is not exactly doing that it's giving me more of like a square shaped uh, neckline also to the back the back the fit is not necessarily the best as you guys can see it's a little loose in the back and that is a bit problematic and then also too when you walk with this dress it actually rises that is a big faux pas for me um it's already a short dress and i'm scared that if i continue walking whatever's underneath is going to come out okay that is a big no-no so in that case this dress is i don't know it's such a shame because i like the color i love how it feels the quality a plus to that definitely has a, a very good touch to it Okay, so let's go on to the next item. I have a feeling that we are going to have a very hot summer and I don't know what got into me to actually purchase long sleeve top. It doesn't seem like a good idea unless the fabric is actually thin enough to wear during a hot summer day where the breeze can actually go through it. I came across this cute little top that could be worn with jeans. It has its own kind of like pinching at the waistline, kind of giving it like this nice bell shape. I don't know if the camera can catch it but if the camera can't catch it let me try it on to show you what I mean this is much better so speaking of my waistline I hope that now you guys can kind of see the shape that this top actually gives me I think it's very flattering and the other thing that I liked is the sleeves the sleeves are actually not like this uh, the sleeves actually has buttons but I kind of like it like this I kind of like it loose like this it almost looks like there's like a split in there which is fine to me that's the way that if I were wearing it, I would be wearing it. And then I like um, the way that it's cut in the front. The only thing is that the fabric, it's a pretty thick fabric. Oh, and also there's like, um, there's like a little peekaboo split at the bottom of the shirt, which is pretty cute, kind of goes with the top. Uh, but like I was saying, the fabric is so thick that it makes it a little stiff. It's almost like I would have wished that the bottom of the top was this material and maybe kind of like a chiffon type of material at the top, I feel like the flowiness of the top of the shirt would have made it a little bit more flattering. One thing that I wanted to mention is that it was actually hard to get into the top because there is no zipper in the back to make it easily accessible. So that's something to keep in mind. But what made it easy to actually get into the top was actually the cinching that you guys see in the waistline is actually an elastic band. So that was very clever to actually add that elastic band in the waistline. But I just wanted to mention that. That is definitely something to definitely keep in mind. As if I picked out one long sleeve top and I went ahead and I picked out a second one. Only this time I chose 
this one because it actually had like a corset around the waistline area and I thought that it looked pretty cute. I've been seeing a lot of tops like this online and I need tops guys that goes really well with jeans, uh, with pants because I feel like I have one too many t-shirts and I need more flattering tops. Let's try on this top and see how flattering it is. I would probably say that this is an upscale on the level of flattery. I do like the shape of the top. Again, um, there seems to be a correlation with having a split in front. I like the length of the top. I have been liking tops that are a little longer than usual. So this definitely hides the boutte. I really like that. And I do like the corset that it has around the waistline and the cinching that it does definitely makes it even more flattering. The corset is actually a belt and the closure, they're actually hooked on closures, so the top is actually not completely fully closed. So you gotta make sure that you wear the proper bra with it. I'm actually wearing stick-on bras. And then in terms of it being long sleeve, I know that a lot of you guys would be like, oh my gosh, during the summer it's gonna be too hot for a top like this. The good thing about this actual top is the fact that the fabric is super lightweight. The fact that it's silk, I could definitely see myself not having an issue wearing this on a perfectly hot summer day. And I like the V-neck line and then it also has a collar. So it was very easy to get into. You just wear like a small piece of jewelry with it and you wear it with black jeans even with shorts like uh, biker shorts you can definitely wear this top with biker shorts it's very flattering it feels great uh, to actually wear it and one more thing is that the corset actual belt it does not come off and it also has a stretch in the back here it is from the back and from the front Cheers to another cute little looking dress. I like the denim, the, the color of it, it's kind of like washed out. And for some odd reason, the shape of it, I don't know if it's because the color is like darker around like the parameters of the seams. It kind of like gives me that animated vibe and I just can't wait to try it on. Okay, let me try it on and then I'm gonna talk about what it actually looks like, what I like, what I don't like about it. Let's go. Here is the dress. So while I was actually gonna put it on, I had this enlightenment. I wanted to try on that white top that I previously tried on to try it on with this dress and I say hey it's not that bad it looks actually pretty cute I actually really like it the only downfall is the fitting once again um, it's a little bit loose and it just looks very awkward so the fit here it doesn't look the best and then also to the back. It's kind of weird having that strap, but I kind of understand why the strap is there. It's just to hold the chest area. And I just feel like it does look kind of weird. And also to the closure uh, that came along with the strap was very awkward to understand at first. It's a little bit difficult to work with, but here is the style of the dress and it also does have a zipper in the back that zips all the way down which was a little bit awkward again that i would say in terms of quality the denim is actually pretty thick which is definitely something to appreciate let's try on the next outfit since quarantine is technically not over loungewear is still in style so when i saw this set i definitely wanted to see what it looks like and here is the top the top is almost like it's like sleeveless and here are the pants Definitely loungewear vibes all the way. And I actually picked it in like army green because I felt like white beige was definitely a repetitive color. So I felt like other people would appreciate the army green. Army green is pretty universal as well. So I've, I'm like, why not, right? It does come in white, it does come in khaki, and it does come in black as well. And I believe those are all the colors. But I specifically picked army green because army green is like a fun color. It's like a tough color. Why not, right? Women power. One thing that I wanted to make sure that you guys understand, like this is definitely not a set that I would ever go for, but I did want to try a different style in terms of loungewear and see how it would look like on me. Right off the bat, I can tell that this is definitely not for me. I just don't like the way that it's sitting on me. I don't know, for some odd reason, it's just not giving me the look that I'm going for or I pictured in my head. The mannequin, she definitely rocked this set, I would have to admit. Uh, it looked really good on her. Right now the top is actually tucked in to the pants and it's giving it this shape that it has right here which I find is quite problematic but it is a very comfortable set I would have to say and the fabric is extremely comfortable as well. Definitely a good set again to wear during the summer because the fabric 
is not too thick and there's no sleeves as well so it's definitely good and then the last but not least point that I wanted to point out is that this bow that you guys see right here it's not an actual real bow so you cannot adjust the pants I find that for pants, this is definitely a downfall, especially loungewear. Most loungewear pants would definitely have that lace that you can definitely play around with and adjust the belt line. So that's definitely something to keep in mind. But I just wanted to show you guys that I paired it up with a pair of clear sandals and then perhaps even accessory if we were to talk about that, this um, snake skin actual bag, square bag with the chain might look really cute with it. Let's go on to the next outfit. Every time I shop, it's always a mission for me to find the perfect little black dress. And this dress is very similar to the first dress that I actually tried on, except for the fabric is just different. Um, it's more sheer, it's definitely more lightweight. It has the same lacing in the front. You guys probably can't tell, but as soon as I try it on, you guys will probably be able to see it a little bit better. And then the only difference as well is that the bottom of the dress actually has the ruffles as well, but the ruffles are a little bit more see-through. I'm very excited to try it on. I'm about to do just that. I thought that the sleeves were gonna be the only that is see-through but I kid you not the entire dress is see-through it's very important that you do know what kind of like bra to wear underneath this dress or go with nothing at all the other thing I wanted to mention is that the fit is a little bit better than that first beige dress that I actually tried on but at the same time it's still a little loose and it's only because of the elastics that are going on around the top of the dress I guess it's a little bit better and then also to having the lacing in the the front the lace actually goes pretty low whereas the other dress it only stopped I believe like right here so it gives me a little bit more room to be able to play around with the lace and pull it and make it a little tighter that definitely made it better in terms of the sleeves you can tie the sleeves like this I prefer tying it or you can leave the sleeve like this and end up with sleeves like this <laughs> if that makes any sense but yes yeah, so the sleeves actually have straps so that you can adjust them and make the sleeves puff sleeves. Unfortunately, this dress for me is definitely not a keeper. Sorry. Let's see what else is up my sleeves. I swear like when it comes to makeup and clothing, sometimes I'm on a quest to find the perfect nude color. So when I saw this dress, I was like, woo, I really like the color. Let me see what that color actually looks like. I think online though, it looked a little darker, but the only thing that I was concerned about is the belt line. The belt line looks a little outdated. If it's not already outdated, it's gonna be outdated like very soon. Typically when I shop for clothing, I always make sure to avoid like things that have certain shapes or even uh, patterns on it other than leopard. Like leopard is the only thing that has remained strong on the market for years now. But that's besides the point. Let's go and try on the dress. Pretty hot dress, but whoa, cleavage, my goodness. When I put on the belt, the belt isn't that bad I'm seeing, but to be honest with you, yeah. It's not that bad. There isn't really a split in the front. It almost like, it just crisscrosses. The only thing I would like to say is the sleeves, guys. Like, what are those? What are those? Like, I tried to tie it as like a bow and it looks so awkward. I just had to pretty much just tie them up like a regular shoelace without the bow. But I, I just feel like it's unnecessary. It would have just been better to just have a button there. It's not a bad looking dress. Here is the back in case you guys were wondering. And in terms of fabric, lightweight, it's perfect to wear during the summertime. I could definitely see myself going on a date with Mike though. That's one little thing that I wanted to actually say. I would say this is my favorite nude color so far. I'm not looking like I'm completely disappearing, which is a plus for me. Okay. Let's move on to the next outfit. My options were limited and I was determined to also pick something with color. And on top of that, it, since it's my first time ordering from Miss Pap, it's actually important for me to actually try a bit of everything or as much as I can. So when I saw this little romper, I thought it was pretty cute. The pattern is not too in your face, it's not too loud, and I feel like it's subtle. It has like a little bit of pink flowers on it. And I was so excited to pick it. And then like also to the fabric, 
fabric is like a see-through type of fabric. It's a little bit hard to explain. Uh, double lining, it has a zipper at the back to just make it easily accessible. So that's one of the things. And then the ruffles, I figured that the ruffles would kind of look pretty cute as well. And I like the fact that it was also not tight fitted. It's a little bit more on the relaxed side. With that being said, let me show you. Here is the rumper. My first reaction was the sleeves. I did not think the sleeves were gonna be this poofy. I don't recall it being this poofy in the picture, but it's fine. It doesn't really bother me. There is an elastic around the arm area. It's not too tight. It's perfect. The ruffles at the bottom of the actual rumper, like I was actually trying to describe to you guys. It feels very comfortable. And then the zipper. I do like the shorts, the fact that they're not too short. It just fits really well. And I don't really have anything to criticize about it, really. It was very easy to get in and I'm sure it's gonna be very easy to get out. This was the second romper that I actually picked out. Really quickly, I didn't feel like it was necessary to talk too much about it, but I wanted to mention the one thing that I did not like about it, maybe two things. The elastic around my arms, it's hurting my arms so much, it is so tight. It's almost like this is what was needed for the dress, for the off the shoulder dresses that I tried on. It was definitely needed for the elastics to be tight around the shoulders, but this one is way too tight. And honestly, this rumper is giving me major bridal vibes, which is definitely not a bad thing. I mean, white is in. White is kind of like a never go out of style type of color anyways. It is definitely necessary to have white dresses or even rumpers in your closet. And I also did like the polka dots that it has um, on the actual veil type of sleeves that it has. It has elastics around the wrist area. The elastic actually does not hurt, so that is a plus. And the shorts are not too short, so that's definitely something to appreciate. But that's about all that I needed to say about this rumper. I didn't feel like it was necessary to get into too much detail. But here you have it. I stumbled across this backless blazer. You have to see it, guys. Here it is. So it has no back. I was definitely determined to see what that looked like. I feel like for this one, I wanna wear it with biker shorts. What do you guys think? But in terms of like the quality itself, it's a pretty good quality lightweight material. Again, you can still wear it in the summer, although it's long sleeve. When I was looking at the collars, I feel like they don't have much of a shape, which can tend to make it look a little bit flimsy, but let's wait and see. As I suspected about the collar situation, the collar is very floppy. It definitely does not stay in one spot. And I'm actually holding the blazer down because if I let go, my entire cleavage is gonna come out like a peekaboo. And I really don't want that. I'm actually wearing stick on bras though, so it's fine. But this one is definitely a no. I'm not even gonna think about that. But I just wanted to show you guys what the back look like. The shorts are actually from Miss Pep as well. And I do not recommend those biker shorts because they are not very well made. The material is actually pretty thin and you can get biker shorts pretty much everywhere. So I just wanted to try it on for variety and let you guys know how the quality was because I like to talk about quality. But it's actually unfortunate about the blazer because it's just ill-fitted. It's just not properly made. It, the quality just isn't there. Okay, so this is the moment that I've been waiting for. I have the last outfit and I'm not losing hope. I Hope that this last outfit will be the perfect outfit. It's pretty much just leggings. It's kind of like lounge wear, but it's leggings with this long type of top. It looks super comfortable since, like I said, we are in quarantine. I'm always looking for lounge wear that look a little bit different, like in terms of like style. So a little bit more stylish. I feel like every lounge wear doesn't have to be the same. You don't have to look like you're on the couch every single day. Some lounge wear can look like you are on the go or you're ready to go. So therefore, I wanted to see what this one was gonna look like because I felt like I I, I picked out a loungewear which was the army green one and that one didn't look the best. I just wanted to pick something that is fitted slash relaxed. So here we go. I definitely say that this is a better set than the army green set that I tried on earlier. The only thing is I kind of wish that I did not choose it in nude but I did not have a choice because the other sizes were completely gone 
gone. So I believe that it does come in black. I can't remember what other color that it actually comes in, but I actually really feel comfortable about this one. I feel like this one is a little bit more up my alley than the other one. I also want to mention that the leggings were actually not that easy to actually get into. I'm not sure what's going on, but I feel like the sizing is a little bit off. That's definitely something to keep in mind that if you are buying this set, the leggings, they were kind of tight around this area of my legs. Um, and it feels a little uncomfortable. So I just wanted to mention that. And in terms of the top, it does come with a belt. I feel like the belt is definitely needed because if not, it looks a little bit too baggy. But here it is. Here is the outfit and the set. It's flattering. I could definitely see that if I'm going to the airport and I'm taking a trip, this would be almost like a go-to comfortable type of style that I would go for. And I like the fact that it's like a different type of loungewear, if that makes any sense. If you made it to the end of my video, thank you so much for watching. That is all the outfits that I actually have for this video. I hope that you guys really enjoyed this video because honestly, it was my first time shopping at Miss Pap. I picked out some pretty cute outfits. Unfortunately, some of the outfits, obviously the quality wasn't there. My favorite dress was the one that was the new dress. The one that I said that the belt was wasn't like the best belt because I felt like it was gonna go out of style really soon with the rings and stuff like that. But I feel like, yes, I would definitely give Miss Pap another chance. I feel like they will get better. I mean, they're owned by Boohoo. Boohoo is actually doing really well. And I've ordered from Boohoo before in the past. I actually still have some outfits from Boohoo that I actually still reuse over and over again. So I am definitely looking towards uh, ordering from them in the future. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Give this video a big thumbs up and leave me a comment down below. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.